It was nothing but ecstasy for Accra Hearts of Oak fans on Sunday at the Accra Sports Stadium when the Rainbow side beat bitter rivals Asante Kotoko to take a giant step closer towards winning the Ghana Premier League title. Locked on 56 points each and only separated by goal difference with four games remaining, each side knew that victory could all but guarantee them yet another league title and end their respective league trophy droughts. High-profile games of this nature are usually characterized by heavy traffic along the routes leading to the host stadium on game day, but that wasn't the case this time around. The Ghana Football Association in a bid to enforce the 25% fan allowance for the game in line with COVID-19 protocols and with help from various security services mounted roadblocks at various entry points only allowing accredited personnel and ticket holders to proceed. The tension was high as both sets of fans made their way towards the stadium hours before kickoff, knowing very well how huge the game was. Both teams arrived with their game faces on amid rapturous welcome from their fans. In a tensed opening 20 minutes, it was a home side of Kra Hearts of Folk who looked the more threatening. Ifri Ebanya went close after 15 minutes when his goal-bound effort was blocked brilliantly by Kotoko defender Abdul Ganu. Kotoko slowly began to grow into the game and went close when Patrick Asmes' free kick was palmed out by Heart of Folk short stopper Richard Atta. The Phobians thought they had taken the lead when Captain Fatah Mohamed made a darting run down the right flank but his shot struck the left-hand post much to the relief of Kotoko goalkeeper Kwame Ba. It was a mixture of nerves and frustration from Accra Hearts of Folk fans at the break, mainly because of their side's inability to capitalize on their dominance. Sam Obedu's side, however, continued to boss possession in search of the opening goal. Superb intricate passes from Hearts kept the home fans entertained, but the goal was still elusive. However, that changed on the 66th minute mark, with Efie Banya connecting an Ansaboche shot in exquisite style to give Hearts a much-deserved lead. It was a professional footballing display from the Phobians as they continued to dominate the game, much to the frustration of Asante Kotoko, who had to settle for scraps in search of the equaliser. Kotoko head coach Mariano Barreto sent on attacking duo Augustin Okra and Andy Kumi as they continued to push for the leveller. The stadium erupted with joy at the blast of referee Daniel Lai's final whistle as Hearts fans jubilated with what felt like a huge step towards claiming the league title. I'm so much elated and I wasn't expecting this one. Got me so good, we finally we got it. We got what we are looking for and to pay them back. We promise to pay them back. Definitely, they have never back in the ground. I'm so grateful. Fabia! Kotoko fans, on the other hand, were humble in defeat but still believe that the title race is far from over. Is that they have chance and they have the luck? I can see the level. You can look at how we play and their performance today. They have, they have done well, and I can congratulate them. They have definitely done well. Has deserve it, and they have won it. So that's like that's nothing I can say. We have um, three matches to go, and I believe in my team, Kumasi Asante Koroko, who win the three matches. Well, maybe with God, we can win the league. So that's that from the Accra Sports Stadium. Hearts of Oak have just beaten. A better rivals as Santuko talk about a goal to nail, taking them even closer come on, come on, to winning the league come title. On, From here, they are Crossbow Stadium reporting for City Sports. My name is Daniel Cranting.